Uh, greetings, math hands. All right, so with difference of two squares, first of all, it's got to be two terms. Okay, notice number 8, 9, 10, and 11 are all, they all have two terms, two terms. The other ones have three. This one has two, okay, specifically. All right, so what we're going to do is, let me give you a couple examples. If I said x squared minus 9, what I want you to do is on top of this, write x, because the square root of x squared is x, and then a 3. That's all you need to do, okay? Because you know, what you're going to do is you're doing the square root of 9, which is 3, okay? And then you're going to do this. You're going to use these two numbers, x plus 3 and x minus 3, okay? If it was, let's say, almost the same problem, but x squared, sorry, x to the 4th minus 9, then on top, you're going to write x squared in the square root of 9 is again is 3. So you're going to write x squared plus 3, x squared minus 3. So notice, if it's just x squared, you have x. So here's x and x. If it's x to the 4th, you have x squared. So it's x squared and x squared. Okay, so if there's a square term, then you're writing just x and x. If it's x to the fourth, you're writing x squared and x squared. All right, so if you have a problem like this, x squared plus 9, that plus means you can't factor. Okay, so you can't factor with a plus sign. Okay, and then if you get something a little more complicated like number 11 here, like number 11, okay, that's going to look like this. Um, so if I do uh, 81x to the fourth minus 16y squared, okay, you're going to take, you're going to take the square root of 81, which is 9. So you're right on top of this, you write 9, remember, x squared. 16, the square root of 16 is 4. So you're going to write a 4 here, and then that's going to be just y. So these are the two numbers you're going to use. No, oops. You're going to use 9x squared and 4y. So your answer is for this one is going to be 9x squared plus 4y and 9x squared plus minus 4y. Okay, that's it, math fans.